I loved volleyball. It was my life. I was playing since the age of seven. I was very dedicated to it up until high school. My dream was to be a college athlete, especially at the D1 level. I traveled the country playing volleyball, different trainers. It would literally consume my life, that and my boyfriend. I was about to leave for college, um, about maybe two days. I was really excited, new life, um, new freedom, independence. I finally, you know, got to that goal where I was going to be playing college volleyball at a real college. I had a friend that said, you know, hey, you haven't really had your period in a while. And I said, well, you know, I've been training a lot and, you know, I usually don't get my period when I'm training. Um, that was just my cycle. I ended up taking a test in her bathroom and it was black. I said, you know, aren't these lines supposed to be pink? And she said, you know, I think you might be pregnant. And at that moment, my whole entire life came to a halt. I had it set in my mind that I had been working way too hard for this to happen to me. I am not that girl that gets pregnant in high school. I told myself I will be getting an abortion. I don't care, I did my research. I said, if I am under 15 weeks, I will find a way to not let this happen to me. Went to the doctors, I even told her that I do not want this baby, I don't want to see the baby, I don't want anything to do with it. She said, you know, she assured me that she understood and she proceeded to give me an ultrasound. Um, she said it was standard protocol just to see exactly where I was at. And if that was my choice, then she would have to, you know, see how far along I was. Um, you know, I guess there's different procedures for different stages of the pregnancy. She put it on my belly and on the screen was this huge baby, huge baby. I was six months pregnant, six months, not showing nothing. And she said, do you want to know the gender? And I completely did not know what to say. And she said it was a boy. And at that moment, I realized how valuable that me, in a way, finding out later um, was definitely a blessing because I had it set in my mind that if I was under that certain amount of time, I would get it regardless if I saw the baby or not. But to know the gender, to know that this will be a little boy who loved to play basketball, who loved to play in the dirt, really put it in perspective that, you know, this is a human being, this is a life, this is somebody that's going to love me forever. You know, I think it was a blessing um, in disguise, the whole situation, because I would definitely would not be pro-life. I would not be doing what I'm doing now if it wasn't for that situation. And I still play volleyball.